Are you sure about that? Yeah, sorry, but I'm her father, you see. All right. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Still nothing? Nah. They said she left for Warford some time ago. Well, did they say we should be been charged? No, they'll probably wait till she get back here for that. I tell you, Kath, this is making me a nervous threat. I won't lie to you. Arthur, oh, you're not helping anyone by getting yourself in a state. You've got to try and relax a bit. Relax? I don't know the meaning of the word. Perhaps if Pete wasn't dossing down with us, we'd have seen Shell going off the rails. Oh, he won't be there with you forever, will he? No, yeah, won't he? I'll go to sit down and relax. He's sitting in the chair. I want to watch a gardening program. He wants to watch a stupid comedy. I fancy a bit of fish for tea. He wants steak. Whatever Pete Bill wants, that's what I get. Oh, that flat of his must be nearly ready by now. Yeah, you'd thought so, wouldn't you? Well, why don't you ring the council? Find out. No. Well, go on, ring him. What you got to lose? Do you know the number? I'm joking, of course I do. Hey, brother. <laughs> they let you back in the country. Only got a few more bits and bobs to tidy up. He could have been back there two weeks ago. So there's light at the end of the tunnel, eh? Well, Pete must have known his flat was almost ready, and yet he didn't say anything. Too well off where he is. Yeah, waited on Anne on foot, didn't he? 